Today is January 16th, 2019. As of today, I am 60 years old. And what I'd like to talk about is liquidity as it relates to your business as well as my business. And the way I look at a business is in three ways. First of all, is I look to the balance sheet where I look to see how heavy they are reliant on debt. I look to see whether or not they are well balanced in terms of their debt and their equity positions in the company. The second thing is their profit and loss as to whether or not they're actually generating enough of a profit that allows them to grow. The third is liquidity. I had a hedge fund contact me roughly three months ago and the guy wanted to know if I'd be interested in buying a three million dollar note for two and a half million dollars and it was securitized by a piece of property that was worth 10 million. And I asked him, well, why would you want to give me an asset that the likelihood of collections is rather high, given the fact that the property is worth 10 million and he owes you 3 million? Further, he was collecting a default rate of roughly 30%. So he was booking in huge profits that were collectible. And he said, well, I have several non-performing assets at this point, i.e. notes. And the cost of my money is 8%. And I'm not able to pay for the cost of my money as a result of the non-performance of these notes. And I thought to myself, well, this guy has two things that would lead you to believe that he's a good investment. One, of course, is that he's generating large profits. He's generating better returns than what I generate. And the second is his balance sheet was pretty well balanced. But the one item that was lacking was his liquidity. He had put himself in a position where his non-performing assets were not allowing him to run the day-to-day -day operation of his business. I also had a second hedge fund shortly thereafter contact me and wanted to know if I was interested in selling him some notes. I said, no, uh, all my notes are performing and uh, I'm making what I believe a good rate of return on him. I wasn't interested in selling him any notes. But he went further and asked me, well, do you have any non-performing notes? Once again, I said, no, all my notes are performing. But I asked him, I said, why would you want to buy a non-performing asset? What is your interest in doing that? And he really hemmed and hawed, but never really gave me an answer. So the conclusion that I came up with is twofold. He was looking to book an asset on his balance sheet at a different value than what he paid for, which would have allowed him a better equity position in the note. And the second thing, of course, he was looking to generate profits pursuant to a default interest rate, which gave him a better rate of return. The point I'm trying to make to you is make sure you understand all three components before you invest. It's not just a question of whether or not the person has a proper debt ratio with, in relationship to the assets that he holds, nor is it a question of whether or not he's generating profit. You can generate tremendous profits but if they don't provide the liquidity necessary to keep the continuity in your business, you're going to go out of business. And when you move to sell those assets, you're going to be selling them at a discounted rate. So always remember, liquidity is imperative when you're managing a business. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.